Hi everyone. This problem is testing your knowledge of the rules of continuity and differentiability. And um, so let's get started. This is a piecewise defined function. And if a piecewise function is continuous at a point A, so our A actually is 2 here, uh, then you plug A in each piece of the function, you should get the same answer. Now, the first thing we need to know is that these are both uh, a pair of polynomials. So, uh, all polynomials are continuous. So, there might be a problem where x equal, uh, a equals 2, so we just plug it into both pieces. So, if you plug in f of 2 into the upper portion, you're going to get 2 squared plus 5. That equals 9. And if you plug it into the lower portion, you're going to get, uh, uh, this is going to be 7 times 2 minus 5, and that also equals 9. So the function is continuous everywhere. So that works. Now we want to know if it's differentiable everywhere. And so let's go on with that one. Um, if it's differentiable at a point A, then you should plug it into each of the derivative of the pieces of the function. You should get the same answer. It's the same idea that we did before, but we have to take the derivative. So the derivative, um, let's do the derivative of the upper piece. The derivative of that is just 2x. So let me just write 2x. So if you plug in 2, you get 2 times 2 equals 4. Now, the second derivative, so if we have y equals 7x minus 5, and you take the derivative of that, you get 7. So you can't um, plug in and everything, so it's 7 everywhere. Since these two numbers don't match, um, it's not differentiable at x equals 2. All right? Now, the th third part is... Um, then what do we have to do for the third part? We have to find out if um, we have a minimum or maximum. So basically, we have to find um, what the slope of the function to the left of x equals 2 is. So if we find that, the slope of the function to the left of x equals 2 is 4. We already did that. And the slope to the right of the function is 7. Um, if the slope has the same sign, because both of these are positive, 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 um, that means the function cannot have a local minimum or a maximum at that point. So 3 is false. So the only answer that is right is 1. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.